Hey, good morning. Wow, their gang's here. We are nearing the end with, I think, just two more shaves. Uh, today's theme, fougere. A, uh, a fougere scent is one, as far as I know, that has kind of a floral or a plant-like uh, top area, top notes, but then the base is kind of woody, and so it's combining those two, uh, those two things. And Henri and Victoria here makes up make a pretty good one. Sometimes they too they do tend to be on the feminine side, uh, fougeres do, but uh, but sometimes you can find one that focuses on the woodiness or uh, has the floral there, but it's been offset by something else in the top or heart notes. And uh, this is a terrific base. And so I do enjoy using it. And I'll see, uh, I can't remember how I like the scent. So we'll try it out again. I've used this one before, but I can't remember. The brush for today is a Samog Owners Club, but I haven't shaved with him in a while. Um, he is maybe 25 uses old, something like that. You can see it in the in the write-up. He's been soaking for a while to uh, soften him up. Boars only need you know three or four minutes or so, but since I haven't used him in a while, I figure I'd soak him for a little while. Uh, today's blade is a Voshkod. It's been used, I think, maybe four times or something like that. And it is a somewhat popular blade. Not as popular as some, but you've, you'll, you'll see it regularly. Some people just swear by them. Uh, on one side, it shows the, uh, what is it, Cyrillic Russian on one side. And on the other side, you'll see the English version. And what are we going to put him in? Uh, fat boy I could not let the lather games go without bringing out my fatty I really enjoy this guy really really do I like his the handle um, you know the girth he's not as long as the slim but I kind of hold the brush by the razor by its balance point anyway not by the edge and so that's fine and I just like the look of him and he may have a little bit more clunky bulky head compared to the the slim but uh, to me that doesn't matter I don't shave under my nose anyway and to me I compared them side by side I mean it's still we're talking millimeter here two millimeters something like that so even if I did shave um, under my nose or in some kind of tight space I, I doubt it really would make too much of a difference and then post shave today since we're doing fougeres I just got this in the in the mail call in a lot purchase and I, uh, I bought a lot from a, uh, a guy online and he wasn't able to find one of the things and so he threw this in just to be uh, generous to replace an item that he, he couldn't locate very generous of him because this is a greater value than than what he replaced so he's, he's a top-notch dude all right so uh, haven't really tried that before I tried it on my wrist yesterday I can still smell smell it just a, just a hair, um, and uh, the top notes what what initially comes through is a little on the powdery feminine side. I did really like once that dry down happened. I, I did really like what it landed on for for a while after that. Unfortunately, it took a few hours to get to that point. But let's try it out. Holy cow's a good maker. Um, they do tend to make a lot of stuff that's on the feminine side. Uh, and so I don't have a lot of their scents. Although uh, in two days, the last day of the month, I'll be using Holy Cow because that'll I haven't used their brand yet this month because they make a really nice dark vetiver that I've enjoyed. All right. I think we're ready to go. I'm going to throw a little bit of water on my face. Doesn't take much to get things prepped. The brush is ready. I'm, I'm dealing I'm at a different location, so my stuff is all uh, arranged differently. Got my Quintero lather bowl as usual. All right, so as per usual, I'll shake out most of the water in the brush. That's just the way I, I do it. I'm not saying it's the way. 
All right. And then we'll do a 30 second load and 10 started right there. So we'll stop at 40. Matter of fact, uh, if you shave with the same soap over and over, what I recommend, leaving more water in your brush, because then that means you add less later once you're building your lather. Um, I did, uh, one of the things I did was, um, nah, that's irrelevant. We won't worry about that. Well, 40 is coming up quickly in just a few seconds. And there's 40. Now, um, here is what 30 seconds looks like. This is a vegan soap. Henri and Victoria did start to make a tallow version and the labeling just looks different. This is their, this is their vegan labeling. And I don't even, it might be their old vegan labeling, so they may have newer stuff. The newer design looks like a circle and the writing is a little smaller and stuff. And there's less of it. I'm just gonna rinse off the tub. You can see it got kind of airy and bubbly. And that's okay, nothing wrong with that. One of the things to remember, if you do get a soap that's airy and bubbly is that is like likely the lather you need to mix through mix past don't use it it's usually not as nice as what's to come so we'll mix around a little bit definitely kind of a high a high note on this one coming up to my nose very easily um, is it is it pure floral it doesn't, yeah, kind of, but it's almost so high that it's more in the cologne department or something like that. And bam, in just a little bit of mixing, we don't have that airy stuff anymore. But we've got a nice thicker cream going on here. Uh, so my syringe comes out. We'll fill in full of two teaspoons. Put in one for now. Henri and Victoria is one where I really liked the base when I first tried it and it hasn't really changed. But they, like holy cow, uh, did put out a lot of feminine type scents that were either feminine or kind of the old school. They had a lot of the florals in it and so there are definitely some guys out there who like that and that's fine. It's just not me, and so I, I didn't have a lot of their soaps. And then they went on to create the new tallow version with new labeling, and so they did a, a big sale. So I bought like six of their soaps because they were like six dollars each or something like that. So I bought absinthe, falls lumberjack. Now that's, that's not a feminine scent. Um, I bought this Fougere, I bought Terre, Terre de Henri, I believe that's a cologne of the Terre de Hermes, popular cologne. I bought the, uh, con, uh, and I already had the Cognac and Cuban cigars, that's, a, that's my favorite scent from them. Um, if you like con, uh, the cigar scent, and I pick up a little bit of Cognac in it, but I'm no expert about that. Let's add, so we've got two teaspoons in there. Refill the syringe. We'll start with just a half here. Oh, they had, no, they didn't have straight shave. They have one called straight shave, and to me it's just wood. Um, I think it's supposed to be cedar, but in other parts of the world, they don't think of cedar like Americans do. And so it just kind of tasted like lumber, like kiln dried wood, uh, pine lumber that Amer Americans might, might uh, know. And so it wasn't really impressive to me. All right, let's test this guy. Let's see how he looks, show you. Plenty of lather, 30 seconds may be overkill in terms of loading. Now look at him, he's pokey, he's got those little spikes um, you can kind of see how hard he is 
He's got valleys and mountains. He doesn't look like a light bulb. Now, is that bad? Is that good? It all depends on where you like your, your lather in terms of hydration. This guy will probably drop in a big clod, keep his shape easily. Yep. Very higher on the structure level here. If we do a stretch, bring it all to the bottom and then raise it up. See a very pretty short peak. So a lot of times that means a soap is too dry. Let's have a feel. Oh, that is uh I think I think I need more water. It it's not super slick, it's very watery. And so have I taken this too far? Is this guy a A lather that uh, is high structure, which means I haven't taken it, I ha which means I have maybe taken it too far. Um, I can't remember, should have looked at my notes. I know I say that every time. High structure just means that it can look dry and still be the right consistency for you. Some of the opposite of the spectrum is gluey kind of gluey where it's uh, it, it's it's low in the bowl it doesn't puff up as much it's almost more like a silly putt not silly putty but well, just glue Elmer's glue um, kind of thick and dense and they they never puff up anything like this higher structure keeps its shape looks a little drier but some soaps that's what see now you see that floppy top right there that's that's what that half a teaspoon got us. Let's try another one. Now, uh, when you feel what I just felt in my fingers, and it's just not very slippery, uh, the lather moved away from my fingertips as as my pads crossed each other and it came back. It, the lather really wasn't there anymore. The trouble is you don't know where in the process that is with, with unless you work on a soap and make notes and or just remember because that could be right before the soap gets good before the soap really starts to combine and work well and all that or it could be after because you've watered it down too much so well the soap sure looks good I could be thinning it down to where it where it's getting you know worse and worse actually that's a little on the slick side I think we're kind of activating things I probably did the right thing but I could be wrong let's go ahead and put this last one in just see what happens so four teaspoons how about that I've got plenty of lather it feels light. It's not heavy as I move my brush through it. That's another thing you can kind of feel for. Love the interned lip on this bowl. See how it's keeping this lather in with just no problem. The smell on this is a little high floral. Um, and so guys who don't like floral scents are, um, might be disappointed in that. We'll see what it turns into. Sometimes uh, soaps do that, they change as you proceed with the shave. Alright, let's show you the drop. Look at that huge. Still kind of holding its own weight, you know, that sort of thing, but I, I don't want to push it further with water. So that's a big old clod. Let's pull it up little bit longer in the in the peaks but still not too much difference so who knows what we'll get but I know we've got a lot of, a lot of lather to do it with okay you know what I've got so much lather I'm gonna use some of this as a pre-shave and do a rinse and then we'll start all right now did I overwater it and is it too light let's just see And I haven't used this brush in a long time. 
I used it for a good while. I heard so many good things about the uh, Samoga Owners Club. I got one and it did take a little bit to break in, but not too much. I think maybe eight uses or something like that. And that was just by using it, not with any of the break-in techniques. Well, it doesn't seem to be too thin, so that's good. And it's not too dry, so I think maybe I hit it right on the money with the consistency. It doesn't have a, a really creamy feel like a lot of the uh, soaps out there. Tallow soap is really good though. The, uh, I mean, it does provide that that feel. So this is uh, a little more airy, that sort of thing. It's possible I could reduce that by mixing more, but I don't feel like doing that. All right, where to put my razor? I'm in a new place. All right, we're setting where we're, we're going to use. Um, I've got a little bit over a day of growth, but I feel like a smooth shave. So let's put it on three. All right, with the grain for the first time. Uh, this Voshka doesn't work as well as some others, but right now it's doing a pretty good job. Some others give me a, even less of a, a feel. Than this, I do feel the blade, and it's tugging very, very slightly. I mean, you almost wouldn't really call it tugging. Lifting my chin to keep this neck skin a little bit on the taut side. You can stretch it a little if you want. Some people have to to get a, the, the quality of shave they want. But I'm, I don't really chase that kind of closeness. So just usually, unless I'm working on this area right here, uh, usually just lifting my head is enough. Um, if you're working on this side, you can lift your chin and pivot your head the opposite direction, which tightens it just a little bit more. So if you're working over here, you would do that. Uh, but also you can just touch your skin here and pull it away just a little bit You don't want to over tighten because that can expose too much of the hair follicle um, And what can that can do is bring in uh, ingrown hairs potentially um, You don't want that But you know your skin may be different. Uh, maybe you can yank really hard on it and be fine But uh, so that could be something that's subjective All right, let me rinse this off. It went well at this location, there's another bathroom, and I've, I've broadcast from it before. Um, and it's where I have to put the phone in the windowsill, and then the lights are just right there in your face. And so I decided, hey, there's another bathroom here. Let me try it out. Not really a creamy feel after the uh, after that first pass. But good slick performance. Yeah, nice slick feel. You know, it doesn't always have to be creamy and buttery slick to be effective at protecting and really liking this brush. I'm kind of liking it more than last time I tried it. <laughs> It's doing a great job of uh, splaying properly, uh, 
medium backbone, maybe a little bit less, but in, it keeps the uh, tips in the right place. Um, and uh, it's not scrubby, it's, it's comfortable. So I, I like it, I like it. All right, fat boy. Uh, cross grain now on the cheeks. Very good cutting now. But the big stuff's been trimmed away, very smooth. Don't really feel the blade. This is what that setting of three will get you comfortable, still close. Yeah, moving along really smoothly. Excellent glide here. My face feels pretty protected from the blade. And time to rinse this. That uh, rinse felt a lot better. Felt really good. Nice and slick. Matter of fact, I can still feel some of that slickness now. So that is definitely feeling more like the base that I remember and enjoy from this maker. The first one, I can understand maybe how that one was, uh, you know what I did? I left a lot of water on my face after that first pass. So maybe even though it feels kind of thin, it still needed a little bit more water. Some soaps are like that and they are tricky. You almost have to memorize the water amounts or shake your brush a certain number of times um, after you fill the brush full of water, just sometimes two shakes and that's what is now in the brush is as much water as you need to mix up your lather. That's a good way to do it sometimes. I use the syringe but I only do that because if you don't have the brush I have then me telling you two shakes isn't the right amount of water for you and so that's why I use the syringe so that you could come close to duplicating if you're having trouble with your lather lather feels good again it's not a it's not going to compete with a tallow in terms of a creamy feel but it is slick and it's doing the job very well. What's the scent like right now? You know, it's not bothering me as a feminine scent while I'm shaving with it. It's just not uh, strong enough. And so, I'd say maybe four out of 10, something like that in terms of scent strength. And it's not, like I said, uh, maybe I just said this, but it's not bothering me, it's not, triggering my you're shaving with a feminine scent uh, reaction you know all right here we go Really, really nice glide here. Zipping around. I think maybe because their their lather is just not as dense as some people like. Maybe that's why they don't get quite as or they did not get quite as much notoriety as some of the other makers. I mean it is vegan after all. And so you don't, you're just not going to have that tallow to deal with. But there are other vegan makers like uh, Soap Commander had a better lather the other day. Um, a better looking lather, you know, I'm not talking about performance here. I'm just talking about in terms of look. Uh, it, did, it did feel a little bit better. But this is really slick. 
and uh, it, my face is not drying out you know right away so there's good residual slickness which means I could you know buff on an area without any problems you know that sort of thing uh, Katie's Bubbles makes a tremendous vegan soap um, who else is is terrific there uh, Dr. Uh, yeah Dr. Johns is a vegan maker and I, all of those ba soaps probably look a little nicer than this than this one just a kind of a little little airiness to it now what might bring you to this company um, even in the old base is the scent selection it might, if it's right up your alley and that's good because they're to me they are worthy of your business and rinse so I believe I used four teaspoons of water for this mix for that 30 seconds I just did three passes and I've got maybe two passes of lather left here we go see how he supports his weight so that's more of a high structure lather for sure what I call high structure and what some other shavers do um, did I push it too far is it too wet might be interesting to try this base again with uh, shoot I mean half as much water two teaspoons just to see how it behaves if it needs more water or if that is just the way this guy needs to be worked uh, a little drier than usual so if you have Henri and Victoria and you use it, uh, play with the water, see what you get. With these high structure soaps, sometimes um, you can uh, really change up your lathering, can look just totally different and perform better, you know, that sort of thing. Um, I believe that I, I don't think I'd take it too far, but it's holding together just fine. And so if you're a person who likes thinner lathers, I believe you could go even further with this. And not have a problem it's holding together just fine it gave me a really slick shave performance was high on this one the uh, the rinses were very slick so you know it's a good soap uh, this brush is enjoyable to use I've stropped him a little bit on the towel um, and even though I've used him you know 25 times or so not a whole lot of the tips have split with him, I've just had a strategy of just using him. And with the other bores that I'm using as a part of my Borathon project, I've got four Samogues there, a Zenith, an Omega, and a Sterling. And I'm doing longer soaks, like an hour soak before each use, three hours soak maybe. And, and those tips in the other Samogues are splitting a little bit more quickly than this. But it's not a big deal. This is still very comfortable. As you can see, the backbone kind of springs back pretty quickly, and it springs back into shape. It's not really staying, if I bend it this way, it's not really pointing that way too much. Um, and so this is a little, uh, give you a little bit more backbone, definitely more backbone than like the 1250. The 2000 is a similar knot than this to my to my face feel at least. Uh, and I, with the 2000, I think the bristles are a little bit longer. I had to rein it in a little bit with an O-ring. Uh, and I may have to do that to this point as well because the uh, the SOCs do, uh, as you can see, um, they do splay out quite a bit. But right now it's just fine. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, I like the handle on these Samogs. Uh, it's, it wasn't comfortable at first because I think I, my fingers would scoot forward and hold it in the wrong place. But I've gotten, gotten used to it pretty quickly and enjoy these handles, which is good because it's kind of the same handle on all the brushes they have, most of them, uh, the wooden ones. And so it's a, it's a good bore brush in my opinion. And he didn't take too long to break in and he's working really well. Mixes up a lather nicely. Told you about the four teaspoons. Um, the, the setting of three for today for the fat boy was terrific. It was a little bit more than a 24 hour shave, but the three took care of it with no problem. Have a nice shave, uh, very good face feel after this shave. Uh, zero dryness. Um, I do have oily skin, but um, I don't feel dry at all. No shrinkage, you know, that causes itchiness or anything. I don't have any irritation. So now's the time for that post shave. La Fougere Parfait from Holy Cow. Let's see if this has got some uh, some skin goodies. Uh, mainly alcohol. 
It does have menthol. Da, da, da. Um, coumarin. Not a lot of the like witch hazel or aloe or anything like that that I've I've read on a lot of different splashes, and so none of them jump out at me. But I do remember uh, reading something um, that there's some good stuff in here. Of course, that could have been the soap. It was using different extracts and things. I can't remember. Sorry. All right, well, let's try it out. It was a little too ladylike on my wrist yesterday, but let's see how it is on a larger scale. I know that it uh, it dries down to something really nice, kind of woody. It does have menthol, so we'll see if that is too much for me. But menthol often kind of ruin an aftershave for me because that menthol scent just overwhelms what's actually in there from the maker. Uh, and I don't really need, menthol can sometimes cause me a burning sensation, um, and I, I don't really like that. I'd rather have a cooling sensation. Now this menthol does this, it is coming up into my eyes, but my skin is not, it is more of a cooling, so that's good. That will probably go away after, you know, 10, 15 minutes or something like that. All right, well, I'm going to clean up and then maybe back with a comment or two. Well, got my camera precariously positioned here to get the right height. Sorry about that. The Fougeres are definitely agreeing with each other in the scent. The uh, Fougere Parfait from Holy Cow and the uh, uh, Henri and Victoria Fougere Soap. Uh, but I am starting to get, after just a few minutes, I'm starting to get a little bit more of a burning uh, on my face. Um, it's nothing, nothing big, but it's not something I'd want to do to myself on a regular basis. So in that fact, I'll probably have to pass this uh, AS along to, uh, to someone else who, who appreciates that kind of thing and really likes that menthol burn. Uh, so for me, the Voshkod is a pretty good blade. It gets me to a respectable shave. There are other blades that uh, do cut a little closer for me. I do see a few hairs with some length right here and I was able to get that stroke in this direction that is usually the one that, that fixes that problem. Um, and I was using a three, pretty mild setting on the razor. However, I feel like I, I should have gotten a little, I usually get a little bit better shave with other blades. And so I think it's respectable. Um, and I'm just talking about the fat boy here. Um, with the fat boy, it's, uh, it gives a pretty good shave, but not as good as others. Uh, there are other definitely you should try this with other razors because as you know everything's subjective and it could perform very differently in another razor after six or ten minutes the uh, the burning is starting to fade which is good and I am starting to pick up the the fougere scent it's very powdery it seems which is seems to be stronger than the the florals um, so that's interesting um, read online and read some reviews. If you see that as a common thread, then you can know that that's kind of the way, how it presents at first. And uh, scents have top notes and middle notes and bottom notes. And the bottom one will be what hangs around the longest. The top notes will be what you, that burst you get at first, and then it kind of fades after a pretty short time. Then the heart notes, the middle notes, are the ones that will be around for uh, a little bit longer than that. Um, and so they're, they're different because of their chemistry. And so uh, you may not like a, some of the top notes. You may like all of them, you know. And so sometimes if you don't like the top, it's okay. Just wait a little while. And then the rest of them will kick in and be, be more evident. And you'll enjoy it for the rest of the while. Uh, so this is kind of powdery. And so I, I think it keeps it from being immensely feminine from the beginning. We'll see how it pans out. I know that the, the bottom notes, the ones that are going to be around in five hours, um, those are ones that I like. So I can look forward to that. All right. Well, we'll try this guy out. And if I remember, I'll try to update the description with how it pans out in the future. My sister put up the Garfield posters a long time ago. All right. Uh, the, I got a pretty good shave. Really happy with the shave. It's it's not super close in my trouble spot, but everywhere else it's very nice. 
Uh, comfort was excellent. I don't have any irritation. Don't even see any redness. So we're good there. Uh, Fougere. I think it is Black Ship Grooming. Kind of a pirate nautical type theme for their products. They, and Philips Fougere is one of them, one of theirs, and I believe I really liked it in terms of Fougeres. There are some Fougeres out there that I really enjoy. Unfortunately, unfortunately I haven't memorized their names, um, but I think Philips Fougere was one that didn't come across as overly floral. There were just some other notes in there that I enjoyed. I definitely believe I enjoyed that one better than this one, but uh, we'll see. Um, I'll probably pass it on, but I got it so cheap, you know, I don't know. Uh, you know, I can piff it. Piff is pay it forward. It's where you can uh, make it available for uh, for free, like sometimes a raffle type thing, or uh, you post on a, a forum or a sub. Uh, you know, I'm going to piff this and uh, put down in this thread a number between 1 and 100, and in two days I'll draw a number at random, you know, that sort of thing. Um, so, uh, maybe that's what I'll do, because while this is nice, there are just so many better soaps out there that have a scent that I enjoy more, and that's all subjective. I'm not saying it's good or bad. Uh, and so, I don't see any really reason to, uh, to keep this guy around. Um, oh, the only reason might be to have a rep your representative fougere. Look in my den and see how many other fougeres I have. Uh, maybe I don't have too many. In that case, maybe keep it around just um, because in a year I may start to enjoy something like this. Who knows? You never, uh, noses change. You start to appreciate certain things. All right, I believe I'm pretty well packed up. I think I can say good night. All right. Well, the, uh, the shave, I hope, had something for you, something that helped you out. Uh, maybe not a lot of Henri and Victoria shaves out there on YouTube, so maybe this uh, is a good one. This is their old vegan base. Um, show you another close-up of of these, this guy. And it's a, uh, I got it at a terrific deal. I think it's a Canadian company. Yeah. Henri and Victoria. And uh, a lot of the Europeans will have this symbol 12 months. And so what that means is that the manufacturer is saying that after you open this, you've got 12 months to, uh, to keep the same quality of ingredients before it starts to maybe deteriorate. Uh, I've had this guy maybe about that long, maybe less, but I haven't opened, opened him too much. But for me, soaps last a long time, and they have to, otherwise I wouldn't have them because I've got a big soap collection. Um, and so if it does start to deteriorate, maybe I'd move it on before it gets too bad. But uh, there we go. Uh, you can look for that little symbol on a lot of the shaving products from Europe. America hasn't, uh, Europe or Canada, I guess. America hasn't really embraced that system yet. So good shave. Happy with the uh, experience. It's good to try new things. Fougeres may not be my bag in a lot of cases, but it's always fun to try different stuff. You never know where your nose is going to land. All right, this is Sugar Daddy Shaves. You have a good day.